Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys 10 items to merch for Double XP Weekend. I wanted to make this video in advance before Double XP Weekend is even announced so that you guys can start merching items for when it is announced and for when it does begin. Now, as we all know, there are four Double XP Weekends per year. That is the benchmark that was set by Jagex. And so far we have only had two double XP weekends. So as you guys can see, the last double XP event that we had began on May 3rd and lasted until May 24th. In previous years, we saw that they sort of did the same setup. Last year they had a double XP in May and the next one was actually announced in July and began in August. So I would expect to see an announcement for a double XP event anytime now and it probably will begin in August um, and that is typically what has happened in previous years at least when they did start the four double XP events per year. So um, basically I wanted to show you guys 10 items that would be an excellent choice to sort of merch for double XP. Um, that way you can make some quick money just by buying and selling items. So starting off with our first item, we have Grenwall Spikes. They are used to make the extreme ranging potions. So they're gonna be in high demand before double XP begins. Um, so I'm gonna be looking at the charts for each of these items that I am going to be showing you guys. Um, and as you guys saw earlier, our last double XP was announced on April 23rd. Um, so that was right around here. And as you can see, once it is announced, this item, it just shoots up. So you can see that the price increases because of the announcement. Also, double XP began on May 3rd. So you can see again that it began to increase because of double XP actually beginning as well. Um, so you can make money either way off the announcement, off of it beginning. Um, and then you can see that it does sort of decline on May 24th, which is the last day of double XP. Um, so this is a pretty good telltale sign to show you that you can make money. Um, we also had one on February 5th, so it was announced on February 5th, um, and then it started on February 19th. Now, this case, you can see it is a sort of a different, um, you can see that we actually didn't gain any uh, profit if you did invest in it for that double XP. And I do believe that is because it was quite um, overpriced at that time. You can see the 30-day uh, average, which is this red dotted line. You can see that the price is above that 30-day average. Um, and then there is a sort of uh, sign that you can tell. This is actually a financial term as well. If, uh, if the price is above the 30-day average, it typically is a sell signal. Um, so that means that uh, basically it is overpriced and it will go down. And you can see that's exactly what happened on the most recent double XP. It went above that 30 day average. So it is a sell signal. It is going to end up going down and it does go down. So here you can see that when it does go below the 30 day average, um, you can see that it is basically underpriced here. Um, and that is when uh, it actually ends up increasing and it passes that 30 day average. So once it's below that 30 day average, it's sort of like a buy signal. Um, you can sort of use that when you are merching as well, um, but the, this is just a good item to always merch before uh, double XP. If we go back, we saw in 2020, we had a double XP event in November. Um, so it started November 6th. So um, right around here, you can see that it does peak a little bit, but it actually does decrease. Um, and that again is because it is quite pricey here to begin with. Um, so this item, it can be sort of hit and miss. We did have a double XP in August. You can see it really shot up during that double XP. Um, but you can uh, make a lot of profit if it does go up to this high value of sort of 1,700. Right now it's priced pretty fairly 1,200. So I would assume that it would increase at least 1,300 and it should be a good buy for this next double XP. And so moving on to our next item, we have mahogany planks. So they're obviously used to train construction, which is one of the more popular skills to train on double XP. 
Um, so looking at the chart here, we'll go to the six month chart. The last double XP, as you guys know, uh, began on May 3rd and it was announced on April 23rd. So you can see on April 23rd, mahogany planks actually shot up in price. They went above that 30 day moving average. Um, and you can see that uh, they really did increase a lot up to 2,113. Um, double XP began on May 3rd, so you can see it sort of did decrease a bit because it was way overpriced at this point. Um, so you can see you can make some money off of this. At this point, it would have been better to sell before double XP actually began since the announcement increased the price just by that much. Now, there was also a double XP in February. On February 5th, um, it was announced, which is at this point. Um, and you can see it actually does increase a bit more because of the announcement. But again, it's above that 30-day moving average, so it will go back. Um, and that's a typically a pretty good sign um, to tell if you guys should buy the item or not. Um, because if, if it is below, it typically does um, increase and they will converge. If it is higher, it typically will decrease. Um, so right now you can see that it is just a little bit above that moving average, but it is basically the same. Uh, so I would expect it to uh, increase a little bit, maybe a more of an increase like we saw in February of 2021. The next item is the Super Attack Dose 3. These are used for the uh, extreme attack potions, um, so they are going to be made a lot. Of course, you need extreme attack to make overloads. Um, so they are in high demand on double XP. So um, looking at the chart here, again on April 23rd when double XP was announced, they were priced pretty well um, right on the moving average and you can see they really do shoot up a lot and it puts it above that moving average. On May 3rd, um, that's when double XP actually began and you can see that it, it still is a bit high for a few days. It actually goes, does increase a little bit. But it does go down because it is above that moving average and overpriced. So basically, um, if you are going to invest in these items, um, you should really check to see what it's at for the moving average right now. As you can see, it's a little bit above. Um, so you might see a bit of an increase, but it also might um, uh, decrease a bit as well. Um, uh, but I would expect it to increase at least a little bit. Um, but if it does get a bit too high above it, you should probably sell because most likely will actually decrease at that point. Um, and looking at the February double XP event, um, February 5th is when it began. Um, you can see that it was just overpriced at that point, so it probably wasn't a good buy. Um, and you can see you do lose a lot of money there. Um, going back to October 21st um, of 2020, so you can see here that um, it was fairly priced, um, but it actually didn't um, go up in price for a while. It actually um, was January before you would have sort of made your money back there. So uh, again, this might be sort of a difficult um, item to tell if it is going to be worth it or not. Um, but uh, it might be a good one that will go up since, of course, the demand for the Super Attack Dose 3s. Um, will obviously go up with double XP. And our next item is the Super Ranging Potion. Um, now this is an excellent item to uh, purchase for double XP. Um, you can either do the Super Ranging Dose 3 or Dose 4, um, but we're gonna look at the Dose 4 right now. So it is 31K just to buy one of them. So it is quite pricey. Um, and again, they are used for the Extreme Ranging Potions. Um, they're also used for Supreme Overload Potions as well. Um, so this should be a pretty high in demand item for double XP. Looking at the chart, you can see an obvious increase and you can really tell where double XP is. Um, so right here, you can see it's priced right around 30K and on April 23rd when double XP is announced, it's actually at a low point, really good time to buy because they really shoot up in price. Double XP begins on May 3rd, um, which is actually right after the peak. So um, they do go up a ton. They went up about, by about 10K. So a lot of profit to be made there. And same with the double XP event in February, announced February 5th. So 
right here. It goes down a bit actually, but during the actual event, it just skyrockets. And uh, I really do think this would be a good investment right now. It's not overpriced, it's pretty fairly priced, so I could see it increasing once double XP is announced. The next item that I kind of do like is water orbs. They're a um, item used to make the uh, water battle staff and it's to train crafting. Um, you can also make hydro pouches. So there is sort of two uses to it, but it is mostly for that crafting training. Um, and looking at the chart, you can actually tell pretty easily where double XP is um, for both of the double XPs this year. Um, so again, announced on April 23rd of 2021. Um, so you can see it does increase a bit, um, but it actually does increase the most once double XP is uh, actually begins. Um, and you can see it, it actually increases by a ton. So this looks like it would be a good investment, not to mention that we are actually below the 30 day moving average right now. Um, so it is looking really good. I could see this increasing by uh, let's say 20% um, could be an easy 20% gain um, and then looking at the event in February we have it being announced on February 5th which is actually where it is um, right here it's quite high it increases a bit it decreases on February 19th when the event actually begins you can see it just shoots up again so again this is another pretty good item that you might want to try and merch I could see it going up to um, let's say about six, six and a half K and right now it's at about five K. So a uh, pretty good item to try and merch and make some good money off of. So now that I went over a few uh, items that are great to merch before double XP is announced or before it begins, I want to go over five items that might be really good investments during double XP or near the end. The first one I want to show you guys is the Geyser Titan Pouch. So this is one of the uh, higher level pouches that people are going to be making when they are training summoning on double XP. And uh, you're going to see why this is a great investment after double XP. So basically it has an even price. So it's a really safe investment. You know, you're really not going to lose any money. But you do see two dips. Now these two dips, they actually are on double XP. So double XP began on May 3rd. On May 4th, it decreases about 120 GP. And uh, over the course of double XP, by the time it does end, it's back up to where it started. So you can see that during double XP, during that first day, you can easily buy the item underpriced and it will go back, back up in a number of weeks. You can make an easy 100 GP on each of these Geyser Titan pouches. Same goes for back in February, began on February 19th, and on February 20th drops about 100 GP, and it just goes back up by the time double XP ends. So this is a pretty consistent um, uh, event. You can see on the one year chart it happens um, on both of the uh, double XPs you can see there. So basically, it just always happens like that. Um, you can invest in this during double XP. It isn't a huge uh, gain, but it is a pretty safe one. So this might be a safe bet for you guys just to make some quick money. This next item we have is the Vulnerability Bomb. It can be made at 103 Herblore, and it is one of the better items to make when you are training Herblore at a high level. So that's why it is going to be a good investment to purchase during double XP or near the end um, since it will be low in price and a lot of people will have made it. So looking at the chart here, um, we have the announcement on April 23rd. You can see the price decreasing and on May 3rd when the event begins, um, it just decreases even more. So that's why this is going to be a good item to purchase during double XP because you'll be able to purchase it for this low price. And later on when the event ends, it's just gonna slowly rise and you can just pick a time to sell it. Um, same goes for over here during this event. Um, it actually began on February 19th, which was the peak of the vulnerability bombs. And then they just tanked right after. Um, so again, you can buy it for one of these low prices and then end up selling it later for a profit. So it might be just a cheap way to buy vulnerability bombs. 
even if you guys are planning on using them, it might be a good time to buy them just during double XP. And next we have the Ceridomen Brew Flask. So this again is another great item to purchase during double XP. We'll look at the chart, uh, the six month chart here. Um, you can see double XP gets announced on the 23rd. Um, once the event begins on May 3rd, we uh, have it actually lower in price. So basically, during this span of uh, double XP from May 3rd to May 24th, it is underpriced. You can see that later on it will go back up and you'll make some money. Same goes for the double XP event in February. Back on February 19th, it was priced quite low once the event began. Um, so you could buy it there, and then just a few weeks later, a month later, you can sell it for a 2 or 3k profit on each of the Ceridome and Brews that you purchased. So you know, that's a nice 8%, uh, 10% gain on your money. So again, might be a nice investment for uh, double XP once it does begin. Now, this next investment is Prayer Potions. Um, and actually, I used to buy these... Um, for PVM and when I would buy a ton of them in bulk would be on double XP and that's because a lot of people are making these potions during double XP um, so you can see looking at the chart um, you can see that the price is typically quite high before double XP and then it will decrease after so May 3rd is when it began and you can see the price just decreasing since there is a lot more prayer potions in supply. Same goes with over here. Um, it began on the 19th and you can see it just consistently decreasing while double XP is happening. Um, and then going to the one year chart, um, we have uh, an event in October. So uh, October 21st was announced and the event begins on November 6th. Again, you can see it does decrease right after. So this might be a nice uh, item to purchase near the end of double XP or sometime um, in between and you could make some quick money after. Uh, and even if you are planning on using prayer potions, again, it would be a good time to buy them during double XP. And so this next investment is the air battle staff. It's one that I really do like because it is safe. So before we go into the chart, just note the high ALK value of 9,300. Um, so that is going to be really important here. Um, we'll quickly check the price of nature runes um, just to make sure uh, that you will make some profit. So right now nature runes are about 250. Um, so basically let's say about 9K ALK for the profit. Um, so even right now, you're alking them for profit. Um, but during double XP, um, the price of these actually do decrease since a lot of players are making them. So when double XP began on May 3rd, you can see it is quite high. But once it does begin, the price just tanks um, a few hundred GP. So you're making some extra money there. You can wait for them to go back up or you can even just buy them and alk them for profit. So that's what I like about this uh, item is that you cannot lose money. You're going to be able to alk them no matter what for profit, and they are typically going to be decreasing um, during double XP. So they are going to be a nice item to buy. You're going to be buying them cheap. You can put them in your auto alker, and you will be making some pretty good money off of these. Again, one of the nicest things about this investment is that it is 100% safe, you are guaranteed to make some money off of it as long as you alk them. Um, so with that being said, um, those are all of the 10 items that I wanted to show you guys in this video. I showed you guys 5 items that might be pretty good to invest before double XP begins, maybe even before the announcement. And then I also have 5 items where you guys can make some money during double XP or near the end of the actual event. If you guys noticed, the items that you are purchasing during double XP, they tend to be a bit safer with lower profit margins. Um, if you are trying to buy items before double XP in hopes that they go up, it is a bit more speculative and a bit more difficult to actually tell if they are going to be going up or not, since there are a lot of different causes to the prices in RuneScape. 
Um, the main cause is the supply and demand, which is why double XP does have a pretty significant impact on the prices of these items. Um, but again, it is really difficult to tell. So um, just want to let you guys know that uh, the items investing before double XP are much more difficult to predict than the items uh, you're investing in during the event. Anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. It's sort of a different type of video than I don't really make too often, but I really did enjoy making it, and I'm thinking of making some more sort of investing type videos um, as well. So if you guys did enjoy this type of video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.